Hi, and welcome to Willis Farms. Today we're going to go over the Iowa Barn Quilt Tutorial. I'm going to be doing a 12 by 12 for this tutorial for time purposes. What you have in your kit is three foam brushes, and I supplied your host extra brushes. As you see, these are the paint selections. I'm doing autumn. We're going to start with the tape, and you're going to tape your project that also was supplied by your host. Make sure you clean your project really well before you begin. I'm getting my template out so we can look at the colors of this project. You're going to make sure that you're going to decide where you're going to put your colors first um, before you begin your project. Like I said, I'm using the autumn set. So I have Bayberry, Algonquin, and Plaster. I'm going to put Bayberry in the middle, Oligonquin as my accent color, and Plaster as my neutral color. Now we're going to start taping. We're going to work from the middle out, so we're going to tape so we have access to our middle square. I do apologize for the voiceover of this tutorial. It was too large when I tried to send it, so we're doing a vo voiceover. I do apologize for that. So we're, what we're doing right now is we are taping so we have access to the outside um, quilt blocks. We're taping our triangles so we can paint them um, the Bayberry color. And I want to show you if you make a mistake and paint it the wrong color, how you can correct this. So all I am doing is going so I can paint um, my, I'm taping so I can paint my colors. Um, you're going to make sure that one block is exposed um, all the time. So there is a copy of the modern. So if you need to stop and go back, you can do that. But that is the modern farmhouse. And you'll see the autumn when I'm finished. And the example that we're using is the patriotic. You want to go with the base color scheme that I used. You're going to um, seal your surface. Your hostess said that she has um, a sealer provided for you. Now what we're going to do is we're using our um, Algonquin and you load your brush and you tap off. Load your brush and tap off. And you're going to make sure that when you are painting, you are tapping partially over the tape and then also on your I do apologize for my dog barking. Um, and this is um, a mistake. The triangles are a mistake. It is not the color that needs to be, but it is so I can show you um, what happens if you accidentally paint in the wrong color block. So we're filling in the Algonquin. Just you're tapping. You're basically doing a dry brush you do not want to have a lot of paint on your brush. So make sure that you're just doing a dry brush. Now we're moving to the Bayberry. And as you can see, you're just tapping it on there, making sure that you are going over your tape and your project at the same time. If you tap on your paint and you some of it comes off on your fingers, it is not dry. Um, you know that it is dry when it comes off, when it, the project feels um, warm. Now I'm going to show you the hand painting technique. This is actually my preference. You're just going to dry brush it with very little paint on there and you're going to go on the outline. You have the pattern drawn on there for you as you already have noticed and you're just going to fill it in with your brush. Your hostess has extra brushes for you and this is easy to do with a small brush. You can also do it, which I'll show you later on in the tutorial, how to do it with your felt, um, sorry, your foam brush. But just very little paint um, and you're just going to take your time. The more centered that you can have your body onto your project and also the, if you can ground your elbow either on your table surface or ground your elbow onto your body, then you're going to be able to pull that paint across the straight line a lot easier um, 
And so just make sure you're grounding your elbow on your surface or onto your um, side. I'm um, correcting my mistake. And all you do once the paint is dry is you can just paint over it. Fusion Mineral Paint does not take very long to dry. Now I am peeling off the um, painter's tape and I'm adding more of the Bayberry on the hand painted side. You will have to peel off um, before you can um, paint under the painter's tape, of course, and you just want to make a that sure that your paint is completely dry, using a blow dryer really helps in this process if need be. If you need to, um, feel free to stop and rewind this video so you can see um, any of these parts over again of the tutorial. So we're just filling in our block our quilt block with bayberry and like i said once your elbow is grounded you can pull that paint across on a straight line make sure that when you set your paintbrush off to the side that you load your paintbrush this will help it actually stay wet um, once your paintbrush dries it's very difficult to get all the paint breath, the paint off the surface so while you're waiting um, to use that color again just load um, it and then just set it off to the side. I'm doing the Algonquin at the moment, removing the tape so I can get to the other blocks that I need for the Algonquin. And you're just going to pull that paint. So just tap it up against the surface up the other painted surface as much as you can and you're just going to pull that paint right across but just make sure that your brush is not overloaded um, and if it is overloaded you can just um, pull it off on your um, receptacle that's holding your paint This project overall took me estimated about 45 minutes. So we have um, condensed this video um, for time sensitive matters, of course, and also size of the video. So what we're doing right now is making sure that our paint is dry before we tape over our other area so we can use the taped method. And you're going to just block everything off with your tape. I reuse my tape, um, that way I am not um, wasteful and also it's just easier because you're just going to throw the tape away after this project. I use the side that does not have the paint on it um, to go in towards the paint that I'm going to, uh, the place that I'm going to paint. That probably sounds very confusing, but if you want to reuse your paint, you, you can um, just make sure that it's sealed down. And you're just going to do that by um, rubbing your finger over the, the tape really tight. So we paused the video so I could blow dry it and I painted and now we have a few little oops. And I wanted to show you with the plaster color how you can um, fix those oops. You're going to have raw silk. So you can go over, your hostess has raw silk, you can go over, and this is how you're going to do that with the felt, with your foam brush, is you're just going to push that as close as you can, um, with very little paint on there, you're going to push it as close as you can. I prefer to use a brush to fix it. I